Hi, and welcome to Carmelo's Faith Food Art Southwestern Australia. Join me today, I'm going to be looking for wild mushrooms. The term is foraging for wild mushrooms. Specifically, I'm looking for slippery jacks. Now, slippery jacks don't have a good reputation in the mushroom society, the fraternity. They all seem to think that they're not, they don't taste that great and all this sort of business. Like any ingredient, you have to know what to do with it and cook it properly. So with that, I'm going to show you how to turn them into the most biodynamic, super powder, which is so good for you. It's just like taking spirulina, I guess. It's on that level. Um, I'm also going to show you how to roast them and do them in a hot press so it's really quick and give you a really nice caramelized roasted mushroom flavor. This is not a scientific video. There's so many great science-based mushroom videos showing you whether they're Latin names, how long they take to grow, the seasons, whether they're toxic, non-toxic, edible. There's heaps of those on the net. This is to show you how to prepare and what to do with these mushrooms. So join in and let's go get some mushrooms, okay? <laughs> Here's a couple of El Perfect mushrooms. Check this out. These are just perfect. Look at the bottom. Look at the colour. It's like a yellowy orange. It's like a mustard colour. Look at these. They just remind me of children's animated mushrooms like you have in books, you know. It's another small one here. These are quite small and tiny, but they are perfect, hey. Look at that. There's one here to the side, which I'll show you in a second. Another perfect slippery jack and obviously they're called slippery jacks because look they've got like a slime like a slime on the top check this guy out he's just perfect hey look so what we do is we just slice under there oh oh look at that perfect day eh? nice and slimy now these fellas here go from that if you don't pick them in time look at what happens to them potato mush so what will happen to us? We're going to decompose one day. When they're young, have a look at this. They're a very light yellow in colour. And then as they age, that yellow gets darker. It starts to go mustard-like colour. Okay. And then, look at this. The colour changes to that. Okay, they're getting ready to be washed. Here's the yield. Now they go black in color. Isn't this amazing? They go totally black. They've not been baked. They're drying out at a temperature of about 120 degrees. So even when they go into a total leather state, there's no taste of burnt or char or coal. There's nothing of that caliber. Now, I've just discovered something. These are about 80% dried, maybe 90% dried, okay? Now look at this. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna tear that. And what I've got here is I've got like potato crisp texture on the outside and like beef jerky on the inside. They are absolutely <laughs> just so yum and so flavorsome. I, I don't know whether a lot of people like these, but I find them delicious. And just think of 
you know, how can you get a sort of healthier snack than this, you know? Okay, so now it's time to process these guys. And that's what we're going to do. Process it in the Roboku. So there you have it, our mushroom powder. Is that not incredible? So what I'm going to do is slice them, chop the stem, and I'm going to hot press these as well. So here I have the mushrooms sliced with olive oil, salt and pepper in a toasted sandwich machine, panini press, George Foreman grill, whatever you want to call it. I'll cover this with another sheet of baking paper here, close it up and let it roast, caramelize, do its thing. These actually do lose a lot of water, okay? So you may have to tip this out. I've actually lined the bottom and the top with baking paper, so none of the water and the moisture and all that goes on the grill. It's so easy to clean, but you may have to tip it so the water actually comes out. So let's have a look at what's happening here. Yep, they're cooking away nicely. Once all the moisture's gone, what is left, I'll show you, is these will start browning on the outside and they'll give a beautiful roasted flavor. Roasted and browned, as simple as that. Look at that. They basically caramelize themselves and they give a beautiful roasted flavor. That simple. So here I have your awesome mushrooms, brown rice, some avocado, I'm going to just add a little bit of sesame oil to it. And that's it. Thank you very much for my lunch. Bye.